In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your photos using watermarks. To access this feature, go to Photos and click Watermarks. There are two pre-made watermarks that are available for you to use. However, I want to upload my own custom watermark. So I'm going to click New. When you create your watermark, you want to make sure that the longest side does not exceed 1000 pixels. What I suggest doing is opening up a photo in Photoshop, resizing that photo to be around 800 by 600 pixels, and then create your watermark to fit within that photo. Once your watermark is created, make sure that you export it as a PNG with transparency using the Save for Web feature. Also, you want to make sure that all your background layers are turned off when you export that file. To upload your file, click Browse, and then select your file, hit Open, and save. Give your watermark a name. Once your watermark's uploaded and your watermark has a name, you can go ahead and adjust the properties of the watermark by clicking on Properties. Here is where you can adjust the visual appearance of your watermark and the way it's applied to your images. You can adjust the opacity as well as the location. And once you have it looking good on this first image, I suggest looking at the other sample images so you can see how your watermark appears on images with a different orientation. Once you're satisfied, click Save. And then you can set this new watermark as default. This way it will appear on all of your new galleries that you upload. If you'd like to remove it from being default, click on the watermark and then remove the default. You can apply this watermark to a specific gallery by locating and clicking on the gallery in your organizer. Then in the toolbox section, locate your watermark settings, choose your watermark, and click Save. To identify a gallery or image that has a watermark applied, just look for the little W icon. This is Robert with Zenfolio Customer Support. Thank you for watching.